Good morning, dear students and my dear teachers. Today, I am going to teach the first lesson in geography. In this pandemic situation, schools not yet begun. Many students are not able to get the classes. Some of you are getting online classes, but at the same time, it is it has it has become very difficult to understand. But this online learning may help you to compensate that. It is not to replace the classroom teaching, but it is to help understand better. Your teachers have already taught you these lessons, but my effort is to assist your teachers and assist you in particular to understand the lessons better. Once you listen to all the lesson, once you listen to the entire lesson, then you will understand the whole lesson clearly. Dear students, this is my promise to you. I teach you the entire portion of 10 standard, both social science and English. All the lessons of social science, I, all 39 lessons I teach you this year. You only thing you need to do is just subscribe and listen to me. It is a service. It's a free for you. You can watch it and forward it to your friends. Dear teachers, I hope you support us. You support your students as usual. Thank you. Welcome to the lesson number one, geography. In this unit number one, Indian position and extension you learn dear students in this lesson you learn location and extent of india location of india in asia and the whole world extent and frontiers of india there you also learn about the latitudes and longitudes standard meridian of india neighboring countries and the total number of states and union territories, the national capital. So all these things you are going to learn. A very simple lesson. So in this 39 lessons of social science, the easiest and the simplest, smallest lesson is this. That is Indian position and extension. That is the first lesson in geography. But very interesting, very small. Hope you enjoy this and learn. Welcome to the first lesson in geography. Dear students, now I ask you a question. Where is India located in the world? Where is India located in the world? Can you just recall and answer my question? Yes, dear students, I show you the map. Come on. See, your India is very clearly shown and it is shaded in black color. Can you recall and tell me where is India situated? Dear students, India is situated here and this part, you know, here it is northeast. This is northern hemisphere and this is northeastern hemisphere. India is at the center of northeastern hemisphere. So, if you divide the globe into eight different areas say for example north northeast east southeast south southwest west and the northwest out of these or in these eight directions india is in the northeastern hemisphere so don't forget where is india india is situated in the northeastern hemisphere Geographically, India is in the Northern Hemisphere and it is at the center of Eastern Hemisphere, that is Northeastern Hemisphere. So, this is what, dear students, you need to understand. Now, where exactly in the Northeastern Hemisphere? That is very important. Northeastern Hemisphere is also a very vast geographical entity. Here, where exactly India is situated in the Northeastern Hemisphere? For that, you need to know 
the latitude and longitudes. Dear students, we have understood that India is in the northeastern hemisphere. And in this northeastern hemisphere, you need to know the correct latitude and longitude. Dear students, see here, this is equator. And here you have 8 degree 4 minutes north latitude. And this is 37 degree north latitude. And here you have 68 degree east longitude. And here you have 60 here you have 97 degree latitude, sorry, longitude. So, latitudes and India is between these latitude and longitudes. So, that you will have to know well. So, okay, let us learn that. Dear students, first of all, India is a peninsula. India is a peninsula of Asia and it is situated in Southeast Asian part. Okay. What is peninsula? Peninsula means the land which is covered by water in three sides. For example, India. This is Arabian Sea. This is Bay of Bengal. And here it is Indian Ocean. Here this is Indian Ocean. And here it is Bay of Bengal. Bay of Bengal in the east. Arabian Sea in the west. And Indian Ocean in the south. So, India has water body in its three sides. And it is covered by land that is Himalaya in the north. Therefore, India is called peninsula. So, land which is covered by water body in three sides is called peninsula. Hope you have very well understood this now. Let us see the actual location of India. Dear students, the mainland of India extends from very important thing you need to understand it is very important 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes north latitude. India extends from 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes north latitude. Likewise, 68 degree 7 minutes to 97 degree 2 minutes 5 seconds. Very important it is. Very, very important. 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes north latitude and 68 degree 7 minutes longitude to 97 degree 2 minutes 5 seconds east longitude. Within, within this latitude and longitude, India is situated. Let us look at them. See this map, dear students. First of all, India, it is located from here 8 degree north latitude to 37 degree, it is Jammu Kashmir. 8 degree that is Jam, uh, Kanyakumari and 37 degree 6 minutes north latitude that is Jammu Kashmir. 68 degree 7 minutes, 68 degree 7 minutes to 37, sorry, 97 degree 2 minutes 5 seconds. 68 degree 7 minutes east longitude to 97 degree 2 minutes 5 seconds longitude. Within this, India is situated. So, this is very important concept you need to know well. Now, let us learn the, the northernmost tip and southernmost tip of India. Dear students, let us learn northernmost tip and southernmost tip. Dear students, here in Jammu Kashmir, you see, this is, this point I am showing you here, blue color. This is called Indira Kol. Indira Kol is the northernmost tip of India. And our mark is shown there. So, this is Indira Kol. Indira Kol is in the tip of Jammu Kashmir. It is northernmost tip of India. Likewise, see here at the bottom, Andaman and Nicobar Island. The southernmost tip of Greater Nicobar Island is called Indira Point. The students here, the this is covered by my uh, video. So here, if you can locate you, if you have a map of India and there at the last island, the last tip of, uh, you know, the tip of Andaman Nicobar Island, that is Greater Nicobar Island is called Indira Point. Indira Point, earlier it was called Pygmalion Point. Today it is called Indira Point, a very tiny island which is situated at 6 degree 4 minutes 5 seconds. 6 degree 4 minutes 5 seconds. When you locate this Indira Point, you need to, uh, you know, very, uh, very much sure 
that it should not be parallel to Kanyakumari. Why? Because Kanyakumari is at 8 degree 4 minutes whereas Indira Kohli is at 6 degree 4 minutes 5 seconds latitude. So this is what dear students about Indira point. So Indira point it is below our uh, Kanyakumari that is at the tip of Greater Nicobar Islands. Hope this you have understood. Now I will take you to the next concept. Dear students, that's what I said. Indira point, this is the southernmost point which is located in the Nicobar Island, that is Greater Nicobar Island, at 6 degree 4 minutes 5 seconds north latitude. Likewise, the northern tip of India is called Indira Kohl. It is in Jammu and Kashmir. Dear students, now let us see the frontiers. India has both land frontiers and water frontiers. The land border and, you know, water frontiers. So, 15,200 kilometer is the total length of India's land border. Dear students, see, it starts from Jammu Kashmir, it starts from Gujarat, continues through Rajasthan and Jammu Kashmir and it almost, it ends here at West Bengal. 15,200 kilometers of lengthy land border we do have. Okay, dear students, 15,200 kilometers of lengthy border. Don't forget this. Now, I'll take you to the water frontier. India has totally 7,516.5 kilometers of water frontier. That is, you know, sea border. It is inclusive of Andaman Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep. If we exclude Andaman and Nicobar Lakshadweep, then we will have 6,100 kilometers of lengthy coastal line, which starts from Gujarat and ends in West Bengal, the tip of West Bengal. So this is what dear students about the water frontier, that is sea border of India. The total sea border of India is 7,516.5 km, whereas uh, if we deduct the total land, uh, the total sea border of Andaman, Nicobar and Lakshadweep, then we will have only 6,100 km. Okay, dear students, so this is what you need to know about. Now, I will give you the other important natural frontiers that is Bay of Bengal in the east, Indian Ocean in the south, Arabian Sea in the west are the natural water frontiers of India which has brought the name to us as peninsula. India is a peninsula covered by water in its three sides. India has about seven neighboring countries and they are in different directions. Let us understand that. Pakistan and Afghanistan are in the northwest. Nepal, Bhutan and China are in the north. Bangladesh and Myanmar are in the east. Sri Lanka is in the south, southeast. So these, these are the seven neighboring nations of India. Dear students, what I just said is shown in the map. See? Afghanistan and Pakistan in the northwest, Nepal, Bhutan, China in the north, Bangladesh and Myanmar in the east, and Sri Lanka, right? Sri Lanka in the southeast. So, this is what we have learned. To the southeast, we have Sri Lanka, and this mainland of India is separated by two natural, uh, you know, geographical entity. They are Park Strait and Gulf of Mannar. Park Strait and Gulf of Mannar separate Sri Lanka from the mainland of India. So this is what dear students you need to keep in mind. Now I show you Park Strait and Gulf of Mannar. See observe this picture dear students. India the mainland and here you have Sri Lanka and here to the south of this uh, Park Strait we have Gulf of Mannar. To the north of this Gulf of Mannar we have Pak Strait. See, uh, Strait is a narrow passage of water body which separates two big water bodies. That is here 
Bay of Bengal and Indian Ocean that is separated by a narrow strip of water body. This is called strait. What is gulf? Gulf is nothing but an inlet of water deep inside the land. So this if you observe the picture here, India, here you can understand this is Gulf of Mannar. So this is what dear students, you need to know about Fox Strait and Gulf of Mannar. All these can be asked to locate in the exam. You must pay attention to them. Now, one more. Let us see the administrative divisions. For the better administrative purpose, India is divided into 28 states and 9 union territories. The recently added union territories are Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Okay, so it has national capital Delhi. National capital territory is Delhi. Okay, so India has 28 states and 9 union territories. New Delhi is the national capital. Okay, dear students, here India, see in this map you can locate all the states including Telangana which is formed as a new state. Oh, now, I will take you to the next concept. So, that is what Telangana is the new state. Rajasthan is the largest. Among the states of India, Rajasthan is the largest state with respect to the area. Goa is the smallest with respect to the area. This is what dear students we need to know about. Now, dear students, let us understand where is Telangana. See here, the arrow mark is showing. Rajasthan, the largest state of India. And one more, Goa, the smallest state. Just you can observe them between Maharashtra and Karnataka's Karavali or coastal regions. So, between that, the small dot I have put, that is Goa, the smallest state of India. Dear